Hi guys, so today I want to talk about hair. And um, I only wash my hair about three times a week. And I do that because I like to color my hair and when I color my hair um, it gets damaged so I need to kind of repair it. And when, like, they really suggest that you don't wash your hair a lot so that your natural oils, your hair can, you know, absorb the natural oils again. And so I've got it down to where I'll wash my hair about two to three times a week. And in between that, you know, I'm real oily. So I use a dry shampoo. And usually I use like the Garnier Fructis kind. Um, I really love that one. If I recommended a drugstore one, that would be the one I recommend uh, because it helps with volume. I have real like fine. I have a lot of hair, but it's really fine. And um, that really helps give my hair some body and volume. But recently, um, I've been trying to save some money, if you haven't seen my other videos, and um, I had gone to the store. I still have some left in this bottle I need to use up, but this is the dev kind, and I was trying to get more bang for my buck, and this one does fine. I mean, there was more in here, and it was less expensive than my usual kind, so that's what I tried. Um, and it's fine. It's great. But I'm like, you know... I'm sure I could do this at home, save a ton of money, and not have to be, you know, picking up dry shampoo every week and a half, two weeks. So I found um, online this lady had made her own dry shampoo, and it cracks me up because when I was in my teen, like, I was probably 16 when I did this, and my poor mom, I was constantly into something, doing something. I was probably so stressful for her, but <laughs> uh, she's like, what is that white stuff in your hair? I had used either it was baby powder or cornstarch. I had seen it somewhere and dry shampoo wasn't popular, you know, um, when I was growing up. So this was kind of like a weird thing that I was doing, but just recently, like the past couple of years, dry shampoo has really become popular. So it cracks me up that I find online that uh, the lady used cornstarch. And I'm um, like, crap, I was doing this way before the, like before all this became popular. So um, I went, picked up some cornstarch. On there she uses, um, like if you have dark hair, um, to use cocoa powder. And then, you know, this was optional to use a essential oil. And I did, I had a, a tangerine essential oil and I love that one, my mom bought it for me. And it's just a really uplifting, happy, like a cheerful smell. So I use that. But I have to say that next time, I'm gonna, like I used, I made it and then I put it in this little salt and pepper shaker so then I can just, you know, like, sorry, pour some in my hand and then I will rub in my hair and let it sit and absorb the oils. Um, so I, I love it, but I'm not going to use the cocoa powder again. Um, because, like, it doesn't do anything. Like, yes, the powder's darker than regular cornstarch, but it's not dark enough to make a difference in dark hair, if you get what I'm saying. Like, when you pour it on your hair, it's like, it looks dark white almost. So, it was kind of pointless to me, and I don't want my hair smelling like cocoa. Like, I love chocolate. Oh my gosh. I have an obsession with chocolate that I'm trying to kick. But, um... Yeah, I don't think I'll do that again. Especially with the tangerine, like it makes me think of those, um, like those orange chocolate, like those chocolate oranges or whatever from Christmas time. I don't like those, so um, that's what it makes me think of. And I'm gonna use it all, but I won't use the cocoa again. Um, but if you enjoy that smell, go right ahead. Whatever your fancy is. So um, yeah, try it out see what you think. I mean, it's not as easy as a spray. Like these are pretty stinking easy to use. Um, I also saw some online where you can use like rubbing alcohol and you can spray it into your hair, but I'm like, you know, I don't think I want to use rubbing alcohol in my hair because that's going to dry my hair out even more. And, um, I've used cornstarch in my hair before and it doesn't like that doesn't bother me at all. So I'm going to continue cornstarch and the tangerine essential oil and it's going to be awesome, especially when summer, like spring and summer kick in 
and my like I guess sweaty and oily this is gonna be a lifesaver and my husband's wallet is gonna really appreciate this too so all right if you guys try this out let me know what you think okay see you later